Welcome back to another episode of African Born Adventures. After a recent trip, uh, hunting trip with Ryan, um, we are sitting next to the fire and uh, discussing our hunting careers and hunting trips and all our adventures we've had together. Uh, it got me thinking and more about my own personal hunting career and everything that I've been through from starting with a rifle and learning to shoot learning about animals then having kids of my own and teaching them how to shoot and how to hunt and how things have come full circle for me and uh, I must admit uh, after watching Ryan bow hunt and up close and personal with him uh, watching the animals it kind of stirred something within me and I decided that I wanted to take up a challenge that I've sort of thought about for quite some time but maybe haven't really voiced to anyone and um, I decided to set myself a challenge and thought about how I'd like to go about it, how I'd like to hunt, um, and what kind of animal I'd like to hunt and at the time I didn't voice it to, to anybody but um, slowly but surely I started making my own plans and eventually I said to Ryan, you know Ryan, I think, I think I'd like to get back into bow hunting. Well, <laughs> there was a bow organized for me in no time. Um, we started doing homework, arrow tuning, bow tuning, shooting broadheads. And um, I can write a book about that. What I will say is it's important to have friends that know what they're doing. The animal of choice would turn, to, uh, turn out to be a uh, Nyala and um, I decided that I wanted to walk and stalk with a bow uh, if possible under 30 meters and uh, make a real adventure out of it, savor the moment and just enjoy everything around it. So the weapon of choice for me would be this. This is a Hoyt Helix Ultra. Um, it's ideal for my frame, it's set at 72 pounds, shooting a 510 grain arrow with a slick trick magnum broad in the front, 100 grains. Um, so the bow has been tuned, the arrows have been tuned and of course they work perfectly together shooting the broadheads perfectly to the same point of impact as the field points. Having said that, that's only half the battle won. You have to practice, and a lot. You have to become proficient with your bow and be able to pull off those shots under pressure. So I had to put in a lot of, a lot of practice time and go through this whole process of body posture and learning to shoot with the bow and all the little things that could go wrong. Um, I had to re-educate myself and um, eventually the time came and a hunt was planned and we set out to hunt the Nyala.
What fun would it be if you came out and hunted and succeeded in your first try? Well, this was the case. Um, we came out the first weekend, hunted morning, hunted afternoon, and same the next day. And you can imagine half the battle is obviously to find animals, especially when the bush is so thick. Searching high and low, glassing, finding an appropriate bull, because obviously wanting to hunt a nice mature bull is, is the object of this exercise and hunting it correctly. So one weekend went by, uh, we had the first weekend we had a close call, a bull at 40 meters facing us. Uh, there was a young bull to the left, obviously didn't want to shoot him. Uh, the bull facing us didn't give us an uh, opportunity. We're standing in the long tall flowers, yellow flowers, so uh, we had to let him go. Came back a second weekend again, we spotted two bulls uh, off in the distance. Tried to put in a stalk on them, but by the time we got there, they were gone. So we were back the next morning, we had a location of a, of a mature bull. We concentrated on this specific area to try and locate this bull. But he was nothing, having none of it, uh, he was very elusive. And like I said before, the bush is very, very thick. And uh, we battled and struggled to locate him. It's afternoon, um, the sun's behind us, the wind's in our faces, and uh, we're looking for a Nyala bull, we're looking for a nice mature Nyala bull. Um, they've given us a little bit of the slip around today and um, this morning we were out here and uh, very little activity um, it's also full moon and um, it's been hot it's been super hot so rather than sit sitting at water holes we've been walking around and stalking a little bit um, so we're just sitting and glassing now trying to find the bulls so that we can uh, work out a strategy and put a stalk on them i um, seen a few younger bulls, but um, we're holding out for a decent bull, so we'll see what we can find. While traveling back from this area, we spotted two bulls next to the road. We drove past them, headed up the hill, and uh, parked some distance away and decided to stalk back towards them. The wind was in our favor, and uh, we snuck right down to a little bush, hoping to catch them cross, uh, crossing the clearing to rejoin the ewes on the left-hand side. Our plan worked. The first bull, which was actually the bull we were after, crossed the clearing and uh, he stopped just before he went down into the kloof. Had he gone another 2-3 meters we had lost him. But he paused there by the ewes feeding off a acacia tree and uh, he gave us just enough time for a shot.
So we snuck up there, managed to get 25 meters from him. The shot looked good and uh, we gave him a few minutes uh, to see, you know, to give him the chance to settle down and expire. But after searching a short brief period and battling to find him, um, the very little blood trail, we decided to call in uh, reinforcements with dogs. Uh, Mark was very gracious to come and help us and uh, we literally found him just just before dark but uh, what an adventure and um, I'm happy to share this with you broken yeah that looks good looks good 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 that's gone in deep that's a lot of penetration yeah. opposite shoulder You take him at the bottom there, Rod? Yeah, probably. <clears throat> See, there's my quartering shot. So done, sir. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Well done on finding it. Yeah. Hey? Eh? No, no, I knew. Shot was good. Look at that. Awesome. Nice kicking up. Yeah. Ivory tips. Tires are beautiful, eh? So we've been battling a little bit with Ingala. There's been quite a bit of rain. The bush is thick. It's very green. Food everywhere. And. Um, has been the biggest uh, challenge has been actually to find them and late this afternoon we spotted them um, two bulls feeding together with a couple of ewes and uh, we put it in a quick stalk and we we're lucky enough to get a shot at 25 meters as this chap but uh, he disappeared into thin air we couldn't find him so we called in the reinforcements mark with his dogs and uh, they were able to find it. Um, she probably went about probably about 100 meters and went into the thick stuff, and we managed to pull him out. So I was actually doubting myself in terms of the of the shot placement, but if I look at it now, it's a perfect quartering away shot, and it makes sense. Um, their head broke off in the opposite shoulder, so penetration was good. Um, just uh, a little bit puzzled because it wasn't such a good blood trail. But uh, all in all, um, got blood on the new, on the new bow, and I'm very, very happy. Well done, boys. Mm. <laughs> Are you sure you put it? Oh, you will spin it. Yeah, it's going to win the race. <laughs> 